Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Flask application using a Docker image on Railway, which is a free web hosting uh, service. So we can learn how we can deploy a, a Flask application on Railway. So for this, first of all, head up to the Railway's official website, which is railway.com and now create an account for Railway. So you can create an account using the login button and then you can continue with GitHub or else you can use the email or Google account as well. So after you have created your railway account, we can head up to the dashboard right here, which is present at the URL railway.com slash dashboard. All right, so now we can create a new project for deploying our Flask application using Docker. So uh, I'll show you the image I have for my Flask, image, uh, Flask project right here, which is present inside my Docker Hub account. And this is a public image. So uh, we can directly access it using our railway uh, list so let's just start the process so first of all click on create a new project and now we need to create an empty project right here so let's just wait for this to be created and now i'll show you how you can connect your docker hub uh, repositories to this all right so now we have created a broad uh, project named ample harmony and now we can add a service in this so just click on add a service and then you have uh, multiple sources from which you can add the code inside this. So I'll just add this using the Docker image. All right, and now I can ask, uh, I can write the image name for this. So this is basically my username slash the repository name, which is path 2 k 3 slash flask. So I'll just gonna enter this right here. And this should be able to access uh, my Docker Hub repository from this. All right, so this is actually uh, my repository, which is perfect. So just enter this name and this has detected my flask image successfully perfect so i think i can just now click on deploy and we'll start the deployment process so if you do not know how you can create a flask uh, docker image for a flask application you can refer to our previous videos where we have taught you uh, how how to build a flask image uh, how to build a docker image for a flask application and as well as how to how you can push and pull and as well as run the docker image of a flask app using docker hub all right so as you can see uh we have got the message that deployment was successful so we have essentially just clicked one button which is deploy and that's how you can easily deploy a flask application on railway so i'll just click on the deployment status right here and it says active and also it says running on this so i think our flask application is running perfect so now we need to enable a public ip address for this a public url for this so how we can enable that is we can click on this flask service and then go inside the settings after going inside the settings we can go down and uh, we see the option of public networking and now we can click on generate domain so this will generate a domain through which we can access this application using browser so this has successfully generated a domain right here and now if i go to this domain inside my browser i should be able to access my flask application and perfect so this is a sample flask project this is exactly the flask project present inside present inside my docker image uh, path 2k3 slash flask and we have successfully deployed our flask application using docker image on docker hub on a railway application so that's is that's how easy and simple it was to deploy a flask application on railway using docker images and this really makes the process very easy and simple and also you get a free uh credits worth five dollars which is enough if you are uh deploying a static website or a low traffic website these uh this these credits are enough for you to like uh, last a very long time so this is essentially kind of free for lifetime so that's how you can basically deploy a Flask application on Railway. And that's it for the video. So thanks for watching. And that's it for the video. So thanks for watching.